This is the story of Nellie Vaughn. Nellie L. Vaughn was the unfortunate victim of pneumonia and passed away at the age of 19 on March 13, 1889 in West Greenwich, Rhode Island. The reason Vaughn is rumored to be a vampire is an interesting tale. In 1967, a Coventry, Rhode Island high school teacher told his students a story about a 19-year-old woman accused of being a vampire. However, he never told the students her name, but he was referring to Mercy Brown. When the students went looking for the vampire's grave one day, they came across Nellie Vaughn's tombstone and assumed they had found the vampire because her stone said that she had died in her 19th year. On her tombstone, it said, I am waiting and watching for you. The students were convinced Vaughn was the vampire word quickly spread around town. More and more people began to visit Nellie Vaughn's resting place and unfortunately vandalized her grave. Because of this, cemetery workers had to remove Vaughn's headstone. Hundreds of eyewitnesses have reported seeing Vaughn roaming among the cemetery, visibly upset. She has been heard saying the words, Nellie is not a vampire. Nellie is perfectly pleasant. To this day, Nellie Vaughn does not have a headstone in place. Is this why she haunts the cemetery grounds? possibly to clear her name? This is the story of Spidergate Cemetery. This small cemetery located in Leicester, Massachusetts is known as the Eighth Gate to Hell and has been long shrouded in mystery and rumors. Spidergate was founded in the 1730s by a group of Quakers who believed the land possessed special powers. In 1943, a young boy took his life by hanging himself on a tree within the cemetery. This tree still stands and has been named the Hanging Tree. Eyewitnesses have claimed to see the spirit of the young boy hanging from the tree. This cemetery received its nickname from the gates that resemble a spider web. Over the years, a legend has been passed down that when you pass through the gate, you're entering the eighth gate to hell. There have been many legends of satanic worship to call upon ghosts and evil spirits on these grounds. This is the story of Oak Grove Cemetery. Oak Grove Cemetery is mostly known as being the burial place of Lizzie Borden and her family. The cemetery sits roughly five miles from the Lizzie Borden bed and breakfast, where the family lived in the late 1800s and where the vicious murders of her parents took place in 1892. Eyewitnesses have heard shouting coming from the area where the Borden family is laid to rest, as well as strange lights have been reported. Besides the Borden family, the spirit of a woman has been seen walking the cemetery grounds. She is dressed in a Victorian-style clothing and is described as having pale blue eyes. When she is spotted, she will turn and look up, then quickly run away, disappearing within the headstones. There are clear markers on the grounds that direct you to the Borden family plot, so anyone visiting the cemetery will easily find their burial site. This is the story of Union Cemetery. This 400-year-old cemetery is known not only as the most haunted cemetery in Connecticut, but it is also known as the most haunted in the United States. 
and is most famously known to be investigated by renowned paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. It was the subject of their book, called Graveyard, True Hauntings from an Old New England Cemetery. There are two main legends associated with the cemetery. The most known is the story of the Lady in White. She has been sighted by hundreds of eyewitnesses, including those of police and firemen. She's been seen wandering down Route 59 late at night and is described as having long dark hair and wearing what looks to be a white dress. One story is that she will appear in the middle of the road in front of the cemetery, startling drivers who believe they have hit her, but she disappears as soon as the car passes through her. No one quite knows who she is, but there have been many speculations. However, the lady in white still remains a mystery. Another entity said to haunt the cemetery is known as Red Eyes. Just a pair of red eyes staring at you from the woods in the cemetery. Is there any correlation between Red Eyes and the Lady in White? This is the story of Stepney Cemetery. Stepney Cemetery dates back to the 1700s and is extremely haunted. It is said to be home to several spirit incarnations and ectoplasmic blobs. In addition, it serves as the second haunting place of the Lady in White, who has also been seen roaming this cemetery. Whether it is the same spirit to haunt Union Cemetery is yet to be discovered. Route 59 connects Stepney Cemetery to Union Cemetery with about four miles in between. Strange whispering voices and green light anomalies have also been witnessed by many visitors here, and includes the final resting place of paranormal investigator and demonologist Ed Warren. The church on the left of the cemetery, called Our Lady of the Rosary Chapel, has been linked to several exorcisms in the past and is still in operation to this day.